Praise be Jesus Christ. Peace be with you. Friends, at the very heart of our Eucharistic celebration of Holy Mass are the sacramental signs of bread and wine. Now, why do we as the Church use bread and wine in the Holy Mass to become the body and blood of Christ our Savior? Well, in the first place, of course, it's because Christ himself did so, and he commanded us to follow his example. If we look back at the Last Supper, we read that Christ took the bread, and after having blessed it and given thanks, he broke it and gave it to the people, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body. Likewise with the cup filled with wine, he blessed it and gave thanks, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it, for this is my blood. Now consider that when Christ speaks, God himself is speaking, no? And when God speaks, it cannot be without effect. If we look back to the book of Genesis, the wonderful narrative of creation, when God, for example, says, Let there be light, there was light. And when God, the Son, Christ Jesus, says, This is my body, the bread, in fact, becomes his body, given up for our salvation, for our union with him in receiving this immense and mysterious gift. So the Church is simply faithful to our Divine Lord and Master. We're obedient to His command and we follow His example. Where He took bread, we take bread. So we see the priest blesses the bread, gives thanks to God, breaks the bread, and finally gives it to the people. But consider also, bread and wine have their own symbolism, if you will, their own significance, simply by virtue of what they are. Bread and wine are, in a way, the first fruits of the harvest, the first fruits of creation. Bread made from wheat, wine made by pressing out the grapes. And so when we offer bread and wine to God upon the Eucharistic altar, we are, in a way, offering all of creation summed up in these two first fruits back to their Creator. And this is the unique vocation of man, of the human race to offer all of creation back to God, because creation doesn't have a free will, creation doesn't have an intellect. Only human beings have a free will with which to love God and an intellect with which to know Him. And so in our own person, in our own worship, we gather all of creation in and offer it back to the Father, summed up in these signs of bread and wine. And God, who is so generous with us, receives our gift and transforms it from within into his own essence, his own divine being, so that we may receive divine things, the hagia, remember, the holy things. We should consider also that these are not only the fruit of the vine and the fruit of the earth, but the work of human hands, as we pray in one of the Eucharistic prayers. And what a dignity God gives to the human race, that we can so participate in his own saving action, in his own salvific work, the hands that make the bread and press out the wine have a special dignity. And indeed, all of our human labor is dignified because the Lord gives us this opportunity to be joined with Him. He who is the Creator, we cooperate with Him. He made wheat and grape, and we make bread and wine. And together, all is offered back to Him in thanksgiving and praise, and He gives us back Himself. Friends, may God bless you this week and always.